Honourable Senators, I rise today to recognize the 94th anniversary of Persons Day in Canada, in which we are celebrating the landmark decision that allowed women increased participation in public and political life, including the right to serve as Senators. Today we honour the determination of the famous five whose statutes are fittingly standing beside the Senate of Canada building. The famous five consisted of Emily Murphy, Nellie McClung, Louise McKinney, Irene Parlby, and Henrietta Mern Edwards. They were accomplished legal experts, politicians, and activists from Alberta. In 1927, they asked the Supreme Court of Canada to answer a simple but essential question. Does the word person in Section 24 of the British North American Act include female? After five weeks of debate, the Supreme Court decided that the word person did not include women. Despite this setback, the famous five were not deterred. They took their case to the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council of Great Britain, which was then Canada's highest court of appeal. In 1929, the court ruled that the exclusion of women from all public offices is a relic of days more barbarous than ours. And to those who would ask why the word person should include females, the obvious answer is, why should it not? In addition to long-term implications, the decision had immediate impact as Kareen Wilson became Canada's first female senator appointed just four months later. I'm happy to say that we've come a long way since then as we sit here in a gender equal Senate. I would be remiss though if I didn't note that this court, court ruling, although historic, in advancing women's rights did include many, such as Indigenous and racialized women. Therefore, it is crucial to recognize the subsequent generations of women who continued the fight of equality, respect and justice in Canada while reminding ourselves that this work remains unfinished. Accordingly, let me take this opportunity to highlight the Governor General's awards in commemoration of the person's case established in 1979 to continue recognizing individuals who've made outstanding contributions to the goal of equality for women, gender diverse, and girls in Canada. Every year, several recipients are chosen from across the country from a multitude of disciplines and celebrated for their dedication to equality in this country. I offer heartfelt congratulations to this year's representatives and thank them for their invaluable contributions. Well, Alio, thank you. Merci.